to Caleb Griffith. Dylan using the outside. Griffith, your leader. Second is Jack Lee. Cunningham in some trouble. House gets through. Fari puts the move on Eddie Lumbar. Dylan having a crack now at Sean Bradford. Luke Dillon coming at Sean Bradford. Caleb Griffith driving away. Substantial lead for the young American. Jack Lee locked down in second. Todd Woodell in third. Robbie Farr fourth. Eddie Lumber in fifth. Sean Bradford sixth. Luke Dillon seventh. Jason Johnson eighth. Then back to Mark House, Pickles Cunningham and Rhiannon Burley. Griffith clearly leading this. Johnson passes Luke Dillon on the outside. Dillon gets in the wet part of turn three and four and almost looped the car. So it's perilous. Johnson lost a bit of ground coming off two and Dillon nearly ate him up. Oh, Jack Lee up very high. Out of turn two just then. Oh, the leader has spun. Caleb Griffith has turned it around. And is he out of harm's way? Or are we going to go yellow? We're yellow. Oh, so here we go. Lee to lead away. Dell in that second spot. Far sweeps through. So Robbie Far up to second. And Dylan now turns the 81. Goes to show you where they can come from, doesn't it? Away we go. Far looking to put a move on Wittell. Johnson coming at Lumbar. Bit of a contact with wheels there. He worked the back straight. Sean Bradford on the outside of Robbie Farr. What a run from... Oh, Sean! Gone! Bradford in trouble has cut down the right rear. So Lee away clearly now. Over Waddell and Farr creeps around the outside of Johnson. So, all right, here we go, getting set for a start. And Warren on the inside is McKay. Working the outside groove is Brett Smith. And Nick Lacey in there as well. So very busy stuff early as it always is. In this second heat, sun still high in the sky. Coming out of turn number two, a lot of pressure on Smith now from David Mercon. Nick Lacey in that third spot. Then you go back to the 83 car running very strongly at the moment. You're just watching Bell closing in. Smith goes high. I think he gets chewed up. Watching Kyle Hurst try to make his way forward. Murcott, meanwhile, clearing out ahead of Lacey, ahead of Brett Smith. Then you go back to the battle with Hurst. Drawing home with the 83 car of McKay. Merck 
Scott. Coming up to put a lap down on Dave Challens. Lacey in behind him. Now watching Bell put it to McKay. Carl Hurst on the back wheels coming up to Stephen Bell. Anderson up against the wall. Anderson hits the wall. Keeps the car going. But he lost several positions. White flag is out. David Murcott on a mission. Clearing out to win. Hurst goes around the outside of the challenge. So does Bell. Murcott gets the win. Wow, it was crowded at the end. Oh, is that a good start or not? Not sure that that will be considered a good start. Wow, Foster didn't waste any time, did he? And we got cars around. Jones up against the wall and Brett Milburn pulls off an absolute Houdini to miss all that. And caught. Better look and start this time. Here we go. Down to turn one. Let's go. Mexican wave. Keep it in line with the leader. Caught. Here we go. Back straight. Keep it running. All the way around. Turn three and four. Caught your leader. Keep going. We're going to go one more time around. Turn one. Good work. Turn two. Here comes Corti. Back straight. Nice work, race fans. Steve Court clearing out. Foster in some trouble. Reed nearly contact there as well with Milburn. Court, a clear leader from Hennessy. Pigton in the third spot. Fourth is the 55 of Danny Smith in the Bottolo car. Then you go back to Keller in the 19. Reed in the 92. Foster in the four. And red light situation for Danny Smith in the Bottolo 55. In fourth, Foster in fifth position ahead of Matthew Reed. Trying to get after it. Look at Brad Keller on the bottom. Brad Keller coming after Hennessy as well. Court leads away. Out of turn four. Pigden under fire from an Avalon specialist in Matthew Reed now. Court an enormous lead. As Foster goes around, we're going to go yellow. Oh, Milsey, keep it going. Milne's trying to keep it going. Yes, well done. Hang on, hasn't finished yet. That's better. Well done, Milnesy. Jones. Away we go, and Court got a substantial lead again out of turn two. Keller working on the youngster, Hennessy. Reed goes by on Pigton. Milburn trying to pick up Jonesy. Look at Reed. Look at Matthew Reed. Superb. Puts himself into third. And Milburn. Brett Milburn into the wall. 40. Watching Keller. Brad Keller trying to sneak up the inside. Look at Matthew Reed propping for a high run. Keller gets by Hennessy now. Matthew Reed too. Storms up there. Court checking out. Keller in second. Reed in third. Fourth is Hennessy. Fifth is Pigton. Sixth is Jones. They're spread out a bit now in heat three. Everybody running the top in turn one and two. Hennessy runs high. Court looking very smooth right now. Reed starting to use the bottom on Keller and it's starting to work. Checkered flag, only one lap away. And Court doing a handy job right up against the wall. 
Albion Park Rail, Steve Court gets the heat race win. It took a while to get there. Brad Keller second. Third is Matthew Reed. Back then to Trent Pigden in the number situation for the guys getting into the corner. Here we go, Sutherland got on it. Taylor Milling didn't get a good start at all. And Stewart goes around. Oh my goodness. Red light stop, waiting to go. Kading on the inside of that third row with Stephen Lyons. Glenn Sutherland into main Ramsey. Chris Lacey thrown in for good measure. Into one we go. Lacey around the top side on Sutherland. Kading around the outside on Taylor Milling. Can he make it work? Yes, just. Ramsey clearing out to lead from Sutherland. Chris Lakes, he ran the outside. Chris looking very settled. Nice move into second. Kading watching all this now. And TK on the run. Puts himself up into third. He saw what, oh, Lyons in some trouble. What was going on with Stephen Lyons then? Something very much amiss with the number three. Trying to watch if it's a and oil issues or something on Stephen because he is driving very awkwardly in that number three. Wow, that thing is ugly right now. Ramsey clearing out to lead from Lacey. Third is the two car of Tim Kading. Fourth is Glenn Sutherland. Back to Daniel Pesca. Then you go back to Lines and Taylor Milling. Man, what is going on with that three? Check a flag, not too far away for Domain Ramsey. Lacey under pressure again from Tim Kading. Chris is doing a nice job in the look 3D eyewear. Number 16. Very slick on the racetrack down into turn one in particular. Sutherland under pressure now as Kading goes by Lacey. Whoa! Lacey got the wall. Fortunately, didn't get upside down. It's very marbly. Check it, flag. Getting prepared for your race winner in one lap. It'll be Domain Ramsey to hold on from Tim Kading if he can. Check your flag at the ready, folks. Put your hands together for Domain Ramsey. Good job. We'll score the win. Back then to Tim Kading. Looking better now. Chris Lacey in third. Daniel Pesca in fourth. Glenn Sutherland in fifth. Taylor Milling. In generation races right there. And we are racing. Down to turn one. Griffith, your lead up. Anderson through the middle. Lumbar locks down third. Dobson to the high side. Sean Dobson running up on the boards. Not surprisingly, it's where he likes to run. Caleb Griffith doing a good job as Hurst goes by Anderson. Caleb Griffith's up on the wall. David McKay trying to run him down in second. Lumbar still locked in third. Kyle Hurst in fourth. Grant Anderson. Look at Hurst. Slide job. Picks up the Lumbar car. Eddie tries to come back. Dylan and Dobson having a crack. Good racing there. Luke Dillon and Sean Dobson going at it. Dobbo comes back on the bottom. Dillon holds him out. Down the main straight, Jason Johnson buying into the argument. Caleb Griffith clearing out. Substantial lead for him right now. Johnny Vogels. Trying to work on Mark House. Try and get by the Tasmanian. 
And they're starting to bring Caleb Griffith in a bit here. He's going to make sure he keeps the ship nice and tight. Kyle Hurst coming up to David McKay into second now. Grant Anderson in fourth. Fifth is Dylan now. Lumbar goes high and gets railroaded on the bottom. Oh, challenge! Johnny Vogels flips. And David Challenge spins. Makes it in his stride. Here we go, back underway. Only two laps to go in this one. Hurst tries to slide Griffiths, but he's not going to give this one up without a fight. Now, in comes Kyle Hurst. Griffiths goes back to second. Aggressive move for the American Kyle Hurst. McKay nearly gets into the wall. Wow, Jason Johnson, Grant Anderson. Anderson scoots through on McKay. Johnson does as well. And Kyle Hurst will get the win. Nice job for Kyle Hurst. And how good was the battle between Anderson, Johnson, and David McKay then? Kyle Hurst holds on. Ah, and Bell. Away we go. Stephen Bell, a cracking start. Up the inside goes Belly. Down the back straight, and we're yellow. Wow, what a start from Belly. Oh, Mercott got a dream start if it's allowed to go. Back straight, we run. Yellow. Are we good to go this time? Yes, Jack Lee got a good launch. Mercott sails up the inside. Look at Bradford on the high side. Sean Bradford. Mercott into the lead. Lee in second, Bradford third. Then you go back to Brett Smith. Stephen Bell, Robbie Farr, Nick Lacey, James McFadden, Todd Waddell, Pickles Cunningham, and Rihanna Burley as well. Oh, Lacey spins. We're going to go yellow. Nick Lacey spins. Gets away smartly. Bradford in second, Lee in third. Stephen Bell to the high side. Barry dive bomb Smith and picks up the move. James McFadden coming on. Smith has Bell wheel standing out of turn four. Murky from Bradford, from Lee, who nearly spins. And Smith got by him on the inside. Barry got held up in all that. Robbie Farr. Beautiful move on Lee and gets Smith as well. So far up to third. McFadden trying to get by Smith as well. Watching James McFadden. He goes by Smith on the top side. Bell trying out the same move and gets by. Murky from Bradford. From far, from the 25 of McFadden. Oh, Stephen Bell very nearly turned the 88. They're right up high on the cushion in one and two. And James McFadden making the bottom work when others can't. Not long to go in this one. White flag being prepared. Your leader, Mercott, in a canter, as you would expect. White flag on Murky. Nick Lacey battling with Pickles Cunningham. And the checker ready for the Flying Eagle of David Mercott. Sean Bradford will get second. Third will be Robbie Farr. Fourth will be James McFadden. Fifth will be Stephen Bell. Sixth will be Brett Smith. Seventh is Jack Lee. Eighth is Nick. Randa comes infield. Hopefully he's out of the way enough to go racing. Sutherland aces him down into turn one. Court going with him and gets back around the outside. Nice work. 
leading goes by Taylor Milling on the inside. Comes out now after Sutherland. Kading, slide job on the bottom. Oh, Pigton goes around with yellow. No, he kept it going. Wow. Officials thought that Pigton was going to stop to pick him up. It's a good start. Look at Kading go the outside. Tim Kading. Now he's starting to come on. Looking to go after court now. The Quickie Motorsports number two on the money. Into the race league comes American. Tim Kading. Reed not really getting through the way he wants. Now he goes short on the inside, trying to pick up Taylor Milling. And he does. He gets Jones at the same time. Oh, Taylor Milling goes around. Pigden loops it as well. Good looking start for Court. Whoa, look at Steve Court. Through on the inside. Katie keeps his head and runs him hard in the turn one and two. Wow. Court got the lead back. Look at the battle for third. Pesca on a mission. Jones in third. Pesca in fourth. Pesca goes by Jones. Jones goes back by Reed. And with Pesca, it is going on. Back out of turn four. The battle for the lead continues. Jones working the inside with Reed. Kading coming back at court and he gets him back. So TK driving away after a very strong comeback by court. Pesca locked down in third. Great drive by the young South Aussie. Reed takes him away though. Matthew Reed through to third now. Jones hanging on to the bottom side while Trent picked in the West Aussie runs the cushion. Up on the wall, white flag is out. And American Tim Kading will wrap it up in the Quickie Motorsports. Number two, second, will be Steve Corn. Third, will be Matthew Reed. Fourth is Pesca, fifth is Jones.